Welcome everyone to another episode of the One Minute Quarter Fantasy Draft, where today we simply try to break the curse. Because in our last five games, we have been it has been win, loss, win, loss, win. And it's been pretty convincing as well because we've played perfect in the games we've won, and the games we've lost, nothing has gone our way. So we'll be trying to see if we can bounce back, reverse the curse in today's game against the Denver Broncos, a team who we just lost to in week six, as it is week eight. So history says we're supposed to lose this game. We'll truly find out how scripted Madden 24 is. And whether or not we two go on ahead to win this game or we go on to lose this game. I mean, history says we're going to lose this game, but we're going to finish 9-8. and eight. I hope that's not the case. But all Madden seems to be even more scripted than last year's, so... I guess we will just have to sit back and find out. All right, Tucker to kick it up in mile high. Expect a big kick from him at some point today. All right, Kenny Pickett leading their offense, who somehow plays better than Geno Smith, despite being like 10 overalls worse. Actually, I actually think it's more than 10 overalls worse, which is the really sad thing. And we already have a flag. And we don't get the, the animation's good. I'm assuming it's going to be a holding. Guys, really? Alright, so it looks like we're going to lose this game. As there's Madden making sure that we find a way to do so. By having our best defensive player be offside. How are we just getting stiff-armed? Like, it's Javante Williams. I understand he's good, but he's not just that good. And let's see, another example of Madden's just going to make us lose this game. And we get one of our users hurt. So, there's the game. It is confirmed Madden is, in fact, scripted. No point in playing the games, because it's just... Hey guys, what are we doing? Like, it's so annoying, because this game is supposed to be so good. And it's good online against people. If you have an extremely good quarterback. But offline... It is so scripted, they don't even try to hide it. Oh, perfect, a broken thumb. Exactly what we needed today. Like, how were they getting perfect blocking? Like, it's just, it's so annoying how scripted it is this year. Like, I think this might be the last episode of the series, because I have to think there's no point in playing, because you already know how it's going to, might as well just send to the playoffs. Alright, how are we going to mess up this drive? Alright, we will try PA Crosser, start things off. Need a nice cheese play. Let's try Eagles Post Rail. I really like Waller, because it looks like this is going to be a cover 2 again. Like, how... It's just horrible throws. Just 
horrible, horrible throws. Oh, we can catch the ball. Huh. You can't get a good throw from our quarterback. Wow. I didn't know that we were able to do that this week. Oh, there, there we go. There's the... What was that? Four-man rush that somehow gets past our offensive line every single time. All right, D hops wide open. All right, ball on the 31. 20 seconds to go. Got one play left. Unless we get out of bounds. Man, coverage this is. All right, spike it, spike it, spike it. It takes us 15 seconds to get to line. Bro, this game, man. I guess that's ridiculous. Like it, 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 it really takes us that long to, to get to the line of scrimmage right there. I hate all the stupid cutscenes like this. Like, no one, no one cares. Like, actually, no one cares. Alright, put Waller on a slant. Alright, no huddle this. No high low again. We're running stock this time. Bro, how is DeAndre Hopkins not catching a ball? It's literally DeAndre Hopkins. Like, how is Geno Smith missing that throw? He's not under pressure, it's wide open, it's gonna be like a 40-yard throw. If he can just complete a 25-yard pass. Somehow, did not get out of bounds there. Alright, first down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Time for the fourth quarter. Let's try seems wide corner again. Like, it's so open, but I don't know how... This route's running, route run's gonna get messed up. All right, another first down. Good catch there by Godwin. All right, we'll run stick. And I can just take this in with Gino himself. Now we're gonna kick the extra point. I would say go for two and win the game, but I am, I just wanna break the pattern. Like I will take a tie over a loss just to break the pattern somehow. Like, I just don't want a, another loss to keep us at hot, then cold, then hot, then cold, then hot, then cold. I'd take a nice lukewarm. And really, I just want to see how is Madden going to make us lose the game from this situation. Alright, this is going to be a run to the right. Well, inside right. Alright, they call a timeout. Now they're going to go for it.
I guess pass. Guy, really? Just gonna let Hawkinson run all, walk all over us today? All right, man up three deep. See if, how we can lose the game this way. All right, in completion, take us into overtime. Um, Tails, we have won the toss. We will receive. All right, wind doesn't really matter since it's going north and south. All right, so can we pull off the wind? I think it gives us 45 seconds. 55 seconds. All right, that's even better. All right, Rogers, can we ice the game with a kick return? No, we cannot. So we got 52 seconds, two timeouts. About 50 yards to go, get a field goal range. Ooh, this looks really good for Waller. Actually, let me just streak a lobe. Oh, horrible warp animation there, but. All right, hey, they're not gonna leave a lobe wide open this time. Take a nice little check down, call a timeout, 21 seconds. Would like to get maybe 10 more yards just to be a little bit more safe. But not a huge deal if we don't get any more yards. Oh, jeez, guys. We're going to try a running play. Because they're going to make them call a timeout. I'm okay with kicking a field goal. Or Patterson can just... Run for a bunch of yards. I mean, call a timeout there, kick a the field goal. I probably should have waited a couple more seconds to call that timeout. Actually, we can take an end zone shot. I am an idiot. Complete idiot. Why, why did I do that? I mean, I guess we'll take our tie. Easily should have won this game. Just, I'm an idiot. because of how annoyed I am with the game right now. I can't even think properly. Like, should have just kicked the field goal there. No problem whatsoever. Easy win. But I was scared that I didn't use enough time and we'd somehow lose. So, next week against the Falcons, or the Dolphins, see what happens, because we tied a game. Who knows what's going to happen next? Find out in the next episode. Hope to see you all there.